With a piece of foam taken from my box, I cut three parallelepipeds of uh, the size of 2 inches by 1 inch by 3 quarter of an inch. With the help of the Proxim and a little patience, I have obtained some wedge-shaped pieces, which I will use above all of my rectangular pieces to give the right inclination to the bench. The angle is between 15 and 20 degrees. Once satisfied with the shape, I started tracing the wooden grain on all the pieces, thanks to my pen and a white brush. Check out my tutorial number 4 for more information on my wood grain technique. Now, with uh, match sticks, I start to embellish the piece. Let's start from the stop piece to avoid sliding of the fruit crates. We continue to embellish the stall. Here you see how I followed all the profile with the sticks and the two coffee stirrers to give uh, more dynamism to the piece. Once the inclined upper part is glued, we can think of uh, sun shades. These are the same sticks that I used for the mine rails. I cut two pieces of two inches for each stall, so in total we have uh, six pieces. Taking my stalls in hand, I decided it would be better to add extra weight. I solved the problem with two small screws under the counter. Let's go back to our sunshades. For each of the six pieces, I cut one end of a small match about 45 degrees. Using the cut mat, as a reference, I glued the small pieces to the larger pieces at a, around a 45 degree angle, as you can see here. Still using the cut mat as a guide, I shortened the small matches by half. It is very important that the cut is precise. I marked the exact sides with the pen and then I cut the, all the pieces in exactly the same way. To increase strength, I reinforced the joints with a drop of super glue. Now the real curtains. I first cut out one extremity of chipboard in regular segments, as you can see here.
to hollow a better adhesion, I decided to remove uh, the ends of the matchsticks glued previously, so that the two uprights were really stable. At this point, we are ready for the last phases. First, we glue the two uprights, then the piece of chipboard which, uh, among other things, should have the sides of uh, 1 inch for 2 inches. At this point, with water and PVA glue, about 50-50, uh, we are going to cover the chipboard with socket toilet paper. With the help of a brush, we carefully cover all the cardboard. A drop of super glue help us stabilize the joints. At this point we recycle the glue in a container. We can use it again later. These wooden boxes are the clones of a piece that I found on ziterdes.com. Check the link in the description box below. They are part of a very fun set of experiments that you can find in my video number 58. Take a look. However, it is quite easy to make them with popsicle sticks or other materials. Just ok, try your imagination. First I gave a coat of black acrylic paint, then brown earth, then warm grey with a dry brush. Now I use floral tufts to embellish the first two crates. For the link of most of the materials that I'm using, check the description box below this video. I'm using now some residues of hot glue to create a food box. They can be eggs, onion, anything. Being a basic uh, plastic material, I fix everything with super glue. Now the salad. I 
I use an aquarium seedling with very small leaves and I place the pieces in an orderly way. Fixing everything with the super glue. I found these grapes some time ago on cheap jewelry on Amazon. Even if at the moment I could not find the link, guys. I'm sorry about that. In any case, I covered them with acrylic paint without losing too much time in detail, to be honest. I concluded with another small clone from ziterdes.com Potions on a shelf Painting these pieces was very easy. First, the usual black coating with Mod Podge and black acrylic paint and water. I then used an orange brown for all edges and protruding parts, as well as for the curtain supports. An earth brown with a semi-dry brush completed the rest of the piece. In the end, I went over everything with a warm gray, with a dry brush. For the curtains, wanting to look warm and not too clean, I had traced alternate color patterns, using the warm gray as a constant color, as you can see here. And uh, that's it. A warm autumn morning and a market full of first fruits. The perfect scenario to be interrupted by a sudden event. Which one will be yours? Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or PayPal. And uh, yes, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!